بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ و آلہ وسلم اللہ رب ضبن علما صلی اللہ علیہ و آلہ وسلم آمین الحمد للہ رب العالمین دس از دی سیکنڈ لیکچر آف ٹیسٹنگ آف ہائی پوتیسز سم امپارٹنٹ ٹرمس یوز ان ٹیسٹنگ آف ہائی پوتیسز ود رسپیکٹ ٹو ڈسکرٹ ڈسٹریبیوشنس ڈسکرٹ ڈسٹریبیوشن مینس بائنامیل اینڈ پوائزون ان ٹیسٹنگ آف ہائی پوتیسز اینڈ امپارٹنٹ ایڈوائز فار می اینڈ فار ایوری ون وی مسٹ آلویز بی ہمبل دی فرسٹ امپارٹنٹ ٹرم یوز ان ٹیسٹنگ آف ہائی پوتیسز از ایچ ناٹ which is known as the null hypothesis and it means the current situation or the routine events. The second important term is H1 which is known as the alternative hypothesis and it means the new situation or usually a claim, usually not always. And these two hypotheses are always opposite to each other. The next important term is alpha which is known as the significance level and it is the probability of critical region. Critical region means the region of rare or unique events. We all know rare and unique means small probabilities. For example, 1%, 5%, 10%, etc. Maybe alpha is 10%, maybe alpha is 5% or maybe alpha is 2.5%. It's usually given in questions. The next important term is X, the test value. And X is always inclusive because we uh, test whether this value lies in critical region or not. That's why this is always inclusive. For example, there were two accidents per month. So X is two. And if H1 has a lesser sign, then we will find this probability x less than 2 equal for inclusive. Remember, we always have this sign here. Whatever the sign of h1 is, we copy that sign here and we write equal because x is inclusive. For example, there are 10 shots out of 12. So x is 10. n is 12 of binomial. And if h1 has a greater sign, then we must have greater sign here. And this equal is for inclusive. So we would find this probability x greater or equal to 10. So the sign of x depends on the sign of h1. And what if H1 has a not equal sign? Then if X is small, then we would find this probability because critical region is on left side. And if X is large, then we would find this probability. So in this case, when H1 has a not equal sign, we check X. If X is small, then we would find this probability. If X is large, then we would find this probability. Types of tests. There are three types of tests. The lower tail, the two tail and the upper tail. H0. H0 means the uh, null hypothesis. This is known as null hypothesis. It means the current situation. Therefore, H0 always has an equal sign. In testing of hypothesis, we test P of binomial, lambda of uh, Poisson and mu of normal and non-normal distributions and H0 is the current situation therefore it always has a equal sign H1 this can have a lesser sign a not equal sign or a greater sign 
H1 can never has I equal sign. Well, when we look for a decrease in P, lambda and mu, then H1 has a lesser sign. See, if we look for a decrease in P, then H1 has a lesser sign. A decrease in lambda, a decrease in mu. So H1 has a lesser sign. When we look for a change in P, lambda and mu, then H1 has a not equal sign. And when we look for an increase in P, lambda and mu, then H1 always has a greater sign. Well, this means the lower tail test and critical region is on left side. This means the two tail test, the critical region is on both sides. And this means the upper tail test, the critical region is on right side. Now I'm discussing these tests. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm starting with this one. Critical region is on right side, the upper tail test. So when H1 has a greater sign, then we perform the upper tail test and the critical region is on right side. Here is the critical region. This. I'm taking binomial distribution as a model. Now, this is the boundary of critical region. And this is the critical region. Critical region CR or region of rare or unique events. It is also known as rejected region of H0. So critical region has two names. Either you can say critical region or you can say rejected region of H0. Here, H0 is rejected or we reject H0 here. And the probability of critical region is alpha percent. The significance level. It could be any probability would be given in the question. Let's suppose it is 5% in this case. So this region has probability 5% in this case. <coughs> I'm sorry. This is the critical region. Right, and this is the accepted region of H0. Critical region means rejected region of H0. And before this critical region, the region is known as accepted region of H0. Here we accept H0 in this region. And this is the region of H0. And this is the current situation, or this is the new situation. Well, there are two possibilities regarding the test value. If the test value lies in critical region, in this region, then we reject H0. And if the test value lies in accepted region, then we accept H0. And I told you H0 and H1 are opposite. So when we reject H0, then we basically ex accepting H1. And when we accept H0, then we basically are rejecting H1. So, I mean, don't worry about H1. Just focus on H0. So, if the test value lies here, then reject H0. If the test value lies here, then accept H0. This is very simple. H0 the current situation, H1 usually claim, X test value, all right. If H1 is the claim, this is the case. If H1 is the claim and if X lies in critical region like this, then reject H0. Means there is sufficient evidence to accept the claim, to accept H1. 
and this is the example let's suppose <coughs> we have x is 10 and it, this probability is 2.3 percent and alpha is 5 percent so see 2.3 percent is less than 5 percent so x is in critical region this is 5 percent and this is 2.3 percent so 10 lies in critical region so reject h naught so if x lies in critical region meaning probability x test value is less than alpha percent for example like this then always reject h naught and write sufficient evidence to accept the claim this other possibility if x does not lie in critical region means if x greater or equal to 10 is let's suppose 7.2 percent and alpha is let's suppose 5 percent then 7.2 percent is greater than 5 percent so x does not lie in critical region therefore accept h naught and conclude that insufficient evidence to accept the claim all right so upper tail test test means when h1 has a greater sign so this is alpha percent and this is the critical region and if x is less than alpha percent then x lies in critical region so reject h naught and accept the claim if h1 is the claim the lower tail test in lower tail test h1 has a lesser sign so when h1 has a lesser sign then perform the lower tail test this is alpha percent and if x is in critical region then you have to reject h naught then say reject h naught if x is in critical region the two tail test in two tail test critical region is divided into equal parts here and here basically critical region is on both sides and if alpha is let's say 10 percent then you have to write 5 percent here 5 percent here and if x is a small let's suppose x is 1 or 2 then we find we check we do uh, lower tail test we find this probability x less than equal to x if x is a small this is mentioned here if x is a small then we find this probability and if x is large then we find this probability and if x lies either here or here then we reject h naught example questions uh, in testing of hypothesis well i will discuss uh, these questions in my next lecture inshallah good luck and allah hafiz